Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about the imperfect bifurcation and catastrophics. Before everything, we have to note about the pitchfork bifurcations. It's a type of local bifurcation where it turns one fixed point to three fixed points, or maybe turn three to one, just depends on the perspective. And the most common example would be the x dot equal to rx negative x cubed. When r larger than zero, there will be a three fixed points. And when r lesser than zero, there is only a one fixed point. So we call this to be a pitch, uh, this to be a pitchfork, and we say it's a perfect version since everything just happened on one dot at i equal to zero. At then just happened everything. Then how about an imperfect one? Imperfect happens when the pitchfork verification dot is symmetry and consider differential equation like just now, but just a terms different, the hedge chain difference. We call this a symmetric breaking terms. So in this bifurcation, you can see that everything is not happening like exactly like just in one point just now, like everything just happened to be at r equal to zero. But this one, you can see like there's a lower set of points at the negative parts and over have a constant fixed points on the top, a constant stable fixed point on the positive part. So how does it happen? To further study the bifurcation properties in the equation two, we must start with the fixed points. So the fixed point happened to be x dot equal to zero. Then look, look back to the equation, the x dot equal to h. If not mistaken, is plus x rx negative x cubed. Okay, so setting this to be zero and do a little bit modification, just a plus minus stuff. So here will be rx plus x cubed. Then setting this to be fx and this to be gx. So as these two, when fx equal to gx, it will, the intersection will be the location of where the fixed point will be. So for further visual aids, let's go to the Desmos, like the graphing calculator. Here in the graph is having a parameter of h equal to zero and i equal to 1.9. As we changing, we are expecting, since h equal to zero is just a perfect, a perfect kind, like the, just a perfect type. So we're expecting they are having uh, the bifurcation of left, the positive side and negative side should be happen in the same time. So as the r increases, r decreases, you can see as it increases, the left side and the right side actually happen at the same time. It is very symmetric and the fixed point is just like, actually is just away from the zero, away from the origin. And just getting further and further, 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 further. And if it's decreasing and it's getting closer and closer, turn, when, when it's increasing, it's turn one point to three points. Decreasing is turn three points to one points, right? Then if you go to negative and just nothing change, it's not, it's not um, getting more intersection or something. All right. So then how about the H not equal to zero case? Like for example, H is slightly larger than zero. It turns out to be the symmetric, uh, the asymmetric case, just like the non-symmetric case. As you increasing the K, you can see that the left, the, it no long, the verification no longer happens at to x equal to zero, but you can see the left side is having some dots intersecting. For example, this dot, it's not pointing out. Okay, this dot, this is where the setter point to happen. Like just now the picture, you can see the up there one. There, there happened to be a saddle point at, at this position. So this is exactly what happening here. As it increases, it even pass it, then we become a three points of the fixed point. When in the saddle is two points, then now it's three point and further and further and further. In this, if you just look at this, the left hand side, if, if you hide, hide the right hand side to be like that, actually it just look like exactly like a saddle point. A saddle point to be happening. But if you look at the whole picture, we call it uh, imperfect verification. So let's look into another part. So fixing the value to be h and h, uh, h equal to zero and h not equal to zero, like just now we did. 
we happen to know that that is a settle point happening and then another one is just a perfect pitch fault. Let's look into the bifurcation diagram. The bifurcation diagram will be this one. And in bifurcation diagram, we're plotting the x-axis to be to be the r, the x-axis to be the r, then the y-axis to be the x. And here is where the settle point happens. This point is where the settle point happens. As you having the h increasing, h increasing, the settle point go further and further. As you reach zero, is exactly where the points like exactly where the perfect pitch are happening. When you go to negative, you'll be another like just upside down version, but exactly like just the same thing, but just a flip version. Yeah. So after studying the imperfect bifurcation, here is all the concept about it, like the breaking symmetry, the saddle points that happen, that look at the big picture, it's actually the imperfect one, turning one fixed point to two and three, like one piece set. One to here is like the two version and here is the three. Okay, so now we have to introduce another concept called catastrophic. Catastrophic refers to a phenomena of having a sudden shift in behavior due to a small change in parameter. It is not really an ideal case since just is less predictable and a little small change will cause a dramatic change in this behavior. A little more small change in the in the parameter. For example, the R and the H is down. Okay, so in this diagram, you can see if you at the top parts, actually it doesn't really matter since it's quite you go, when you go to the left side and the right side, the parameter is and uh, the behavior is not changing that much. You see the vertical size will be the behavior. You see the behavior is not changing that much. If it happened to be on this like near the cliff, when you try to root right, move right side, it will still be a nice thing. But if you try to move to the left side, it causes a big drop in the behavior. So later, we will study this I will study this behavior using the same exactly equations, but we're changing the axis again. We now we're plotting the graph to be an x-axis again, so h-axis x again h so let me change the graph okay here x again h then when we try to change r like here increasing the r when r is lesser than zero that is no that that is not a catastrophic you can see the vertical is just very smooth if you're at the top side you just slide down if you're at the bottom you just like climb up everything is just fine if you try to move it over, try to change the R over zero, you can, start, you, can, you can slowly see that there is a big, there's gonna be a big drop as you try to decrease it from the right side. And if you increase it from the right, and if you increase it from the negative part, you're having a sudden shift to the top. So here is how the catastrophe works and we don't really like it to happen in the real life. Since when it happens, it's just meaning some some destruction in the buildings, some breaking in the bridge. And that's all for me, like the behavior, the characteristic of both catastrophic and the imperfect pitch for verifications. Yeah, thank you very much.